When I was a child, I used to lay in bed late at night, staring at the ceiling, listening to my father scream. Scream at my mother, scream at yet another failed masterpiece. Finally, just scream out into the darkness. It became my lullaby. And even when they took me away, the screams followed. I was once told that insanity runs in my family. It's time to make it stop. in here. find a way to keep you in there for good. Still life. <coughs> oh, this place is a mess. I can hear you in there. I'm coming, you furry little bastards! You're not getting away this time! Oh, where did you put that damn key? What? Is that? Oh, yes! That's it! Thank you. 
Ugh, what's wrong with this thing? All right, young lady. Shall we continue? Right. Whatever happens, just keep looking at me and listen. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. The princess was all alone in the dark. And yet, she felt that the evil witch was lurking nearby. As her eyes adjusted to the darkness, she saw something moving in the corner of her eye. And yet, she did not dare to move for she knew that that would be the end of her. The princess heard a fearsome growl. The witch had unleashed her familiar, the hellhound. The monster slipped the air. Its perky ears wary of even the slightest sound. The princess remained motionless, letting the monster pass. There was a stillness in the air. The princess breathed a sigh of relief. For a moment, it seemed like the worst was behind her, and yet she knew that it was not over. There was still danger nearby, waiting for her slightest move. Frozen in terror, she kept looking straight ahead. Suddenly, she heard a terrifying cackle. It was the... <coughs> it was the evil witch herself, the wretched thing despised beauty and innocence, for she had neither. <laughs> the hand was near, just outside of you, but our heroine didn't dare to look. She had to keep her head straight, lest she be cursed by the witch's foul magic. She could almost feel the chilling touch of the witch's hand at her neck. <laughs> she felt the sudden urge to run away but fought it with all her will, for she knew that was precisely what the witch would have wanted. And then, just like that, the chill was gone. She saw a glimmer of light over the horizon. The sun was almost upon her. It was almost dawn. It was almost over. And there, the princess stood triumphant in the sun, smiling as she, wait, that's not right. Her face. Why is she still... scared? Oh, God. I didn't mean to... Princess, I am so sorry. It's not that he was cruel. It's just that, to him, reality was just a pale reflection of art. He was blind to the world, unless it was translated to him through a canvas. I think it is. Oh, hey, hey there, princess. You, you want to sit on daddy's lap? Come on. It's okay.
Huh. I don't remember that being there. I can hear you out there. Please, please help me. It hurts. Oh, it hurts so much. I can't take it anymore. Mm. Yes. Thank you. It's so good to feel that there's still beauty in this world. there. Oh, come on, don't be afraid. It won't bite. Here, try for yourself. No, no, that, that's not quite right. Huh, still not quite there. Go get your crayons.
can't do this without you. Hey there, young lady. 
Shouldn't you be in bed? It's all right, you can stay. Just don't make too much noise. Daddy's working. What do you mean, who's that? It's Mommy. What? That's not what Mommy looks like? Well, she does to me. Day to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Come out. She's waiting for us. Don't make me do this by myself. No. I don't want her to see me like this. I'm I'm sorry. I just I can't. supposed to do now. I can't do this without you.
I hate you! Good. At least you can still feel something. I look at you and I see nothing. Not the beautiful girl I fell in love with. Not the mother of my child. Not even the hateful monster you pretend to be. You're just... empty. I look at you and I feel nothing. And it scares the hell out of me. Hideous I am. Go on, I know you want to. God, not that again. I know you're disgusted with me, admit it. You're right, I am disgusted with you. But it has nothing to do with the way you look. I'm disgusted with what you let it do to you. How you let it change you. Princess, Princess, wake up. I need you to get dressed real quick. There are men coming. Some very bad men. They want to take you away from me, but I won't let them. We won't let them, will we? Yes, now I remember. Throughout all the chaos and misery, in his own flawed and misguided way, he did love her after all. His way of expressing it was a different matter altogether. I wonder when was the last time this place saw sunlight? Oh, the summer trees, so green and vibrant and full of life, but also young and inexperienced. Let's try to find them a more poignant season, where they are wiser and have some stories to tell. Ah, yes! The autumn of life, when man seeks shelter from the elements. Let's see how our little hut fares when the skies grow dark. Oh, <laughs> 
You see? In the end, all we take for granted is fragile and temporary. Man passes while nature endures. Speaking of which, I don't think our proud stallion likes the weather. Let's brighten things up a bit. That's right! The sun bestows its kind rays upon the land. It's getting warmer and warmer until finally... Marvelous, isn't it? I know it seems like a tragedy, but a beautiful tragedy is always better than an unremarkable existence. In his own way, I believe he meant well. He wanted me to excel. Hoping that when the time came, I would succeed where he failed. Avoid his mistakes. God knows he made plenty of those. It's... it's me. But what does it mean? Oh, there has to be more to this. What is this supposed to... Wait. The lines are... Oh, yes! Now, now I see it! Like you knew I would. I had to dig deep to uncover what my father really wanted me to find. In the process, I realized what he was trying to tell me. This house was nothing but a tomb. There was nothing left for me here. No answers, no solace, no closure. My true inheritance lay within. And then, just like that, it finally happened. For the first time in my life, I saw the world through my father's eyes. I was once told that insanity runs in my family. I 
Let it run.